This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. In this video, we'll show you how to create linked portfolios. We'll also demonstrate Stock Rover's backcasting capability. As we'll see, when you initially create a linked portfolio, the current holdings are returned with no buy and sell history. Backcasting makes it possible to analyze your portfolio and to view historical performance prior to the connection date. This feature is particularly useful if your portfolio holdings have not changed for some time. We'll also show how to import your full portfolio history, which is quite useful when your portfolio holdings have changed significantly prior to the first time connection date. Lastly, we'll show how portfolio assets are handled. Let's start with an explanation of what a linked portfolio is. A linked portfolio is a portfolio in Stock Rover that's linked to a portfolio in your brokerage account. When you create a linked portfolio, a read-only connection is established between your brokerage account and Stock Rover. You don't need to constantly update linked portfolios with brokerage changes, as changes to your brokerage portfolio holdings are regularly synchronized with a linked portfolio in Stock Rover. In addition to being updated nightly, an update for any brokerage can be initiated by your request from within Stock Rover. Portfolios that are linked will show with a different icon. Here we see a portfolio linked to a Fidelity brokerage. We manage linked portfolio connections via Brokerage Connect. Brokerage Connect can quickly be accessed under Portfolio Tools. Or, when we select Portfolios, we can click on Create New Portfolio. Or, under Portfolio Actions, click on Create a New Portfolio. We can then click on Connect to your Brokerage. Stock Rover connects to your brokerage firm via Yodely, a trusted cloud-based account aggregator. Stock Rover never sees your account credentials and has no access to brokerage accounts. Please note that for interactive brokers, Stock Rover has a separate linking procedure. The linking is done via a Stock Rover feed request to interactive brokers. The details can be found in the help. When a connection has been verified, you'll see the Brokerage Connections panel in Stock Rover with your portfolios from the linked account loaded. The panel is organized with your brokerage account at the top, along with the constituent portfolios listed under it. In our case, we have a single portfolio. Clicking on the gear reveals configuration options. As you hover over a portfolio, you'll see a gear which can be clicked for menu options that pertain to that individual portfolio. Let's link to a brokerage account. For major brokerage houses, we recommend using the links provided on the Yodely search screen. For anything not covered in this list, simply use the search box. We'll select Vanguard. Remember, only Yodely interacts with your account credentials in institutions. Stock Rover never sees or handles account credentials. You'll then follow the prompts to enter your account login information. The prompts usually consist of user and password, but will vary depending on your brokerage's security requirements. For example, if you've multi-factor authentication enabled, you'll be prompted for a code. Once the connection has been verified, you'll see the Brokerage Connections panel in Stock Rover with your portfolios from the linked account loaded. Let's talk a bit about what happens when you first connect to your brokerage. When a connection is first established, the brokerage returns the positions as of the moment you connect it. The positions for each holding usually come over with a quantity and a cost per share. As the buy date isn't known, the buy date will be set to the date you connected to your brokerage. The brokerage does not return buy and sell history. As we'll see in a bit, you can import your brokerage's history so that the brokerage portfolio and the linked portfolio match. If the cost per share isn't provided by the brokerage, we use the current price and you can make a one-time correction. 
Here we see a linked portfolio with an initial connection date of December 19, 2023. To launch the Portfolio Manager, we can either select Modify this portfolio under Portfolio Actions or right click on the portfolio and select Modify Portfolio. In the Positions tab, you can edit the cost per share. Once you've made your changes, you want to click on Save. Going forward, any changes in your brokerage will be synchronized with your linked portfolio. When a connection is first established via Brokerage Connect, the current holdings are returned with no buy and sell history. The buy date is set to the date of the initial connection. Backcasting allows Stock Rover to show the portfolio performance as if the holdings were owned since the earliest date supported in Stock Rover. This feature makes it possible to analyze your portfolio and to view the historical performance prior to the date of the initial connection. Backcasting works well when a portfolio hasn't changed or has experienced minimal change prior to the first time connection date. If a portfolio has changed a lot prior to the first time connection date, backcasting can be turned off and you can import position history for more complete accounting. When a linked portfolio is created, the backcasting feature is enabled by default. We can see this in the Portfolio Manager. To launch the Portfolio Manager, we can click Modify this Portfolio under Portfolio Actions, or right-click on the Portfolio and select Modify Portfolio. In the Positions tab, selecting Explain shows us a brief explanation and also allows us to enable or disable backcasting for the selected portfolio. Let's go to the analytics. We'll select our portfolio. Here we see the performance of our portfolio going back two years, even though the buy date is December the 19th, 2023. Going forward, changes in your brokerage portfolio are mirrored into the linked portfolio. Buy and sell transactions are inferred based on the change in positions. If you'd like the portfolio analytics to account for position changes previous to the date that the brokerage connection was established, you'll need to import past position history. You'll be importing files that each contain all the positions from a monthly or quarterly brokerage statement. As StockRow's portfolios are positions-based, it's important that these import files contain all portfolio positions. For example, if the file being imported only contains a subset of your actual holdings, then StockRover will assume the missing holdings were sold. You want to import the files starting with the oldest brokerage statement and then move forward chronologically. Each time you import a file, Stock Rover will adjust your portfolio positions and infer the appropriate buy and sell transactions. To import our updates, we'll want to launch Portfolio Manager. We can either click Modify Portfolio under Portfolio Actions or right click on the portfolio and select Modify Portfolio. When we click on the Transactions tab, we see that Stock Rover inferred the buys with a buy date of December 19th. This is the initial connection date to the brokerage. Let's import Portfolio History. We'll select the Positions tab. We'll start with an export of our earliest brokerage statement from June of 2023. So we want to set our import date to June. Let's select our file to import. We see that we own Apple, Google, and ExxonMobil. We also see their quantity and cost per share. Note, if the brokerage doesn't return the cost per share, Stock Rover will use the closed price. Let's import. Let's go to our next brokerage statement. 
Let's change the date. And we'll go to the end of September. Let's select our file to import. Here we see new positions from Meta and Microsoft, but we no longer have a position in ExxonMobil. Let's import. Let's go to the Transactions tab. Here we can see the transactions that were inferred based on our changes in position. So we can see when we purchased Meta, Microsoft, Apple, and Google. And we can see when we bought ExxonMobil, and then when we sold ExxonMobil. When we go to the Positions tab, we see Apple, Google, Meta, and Microsoft. When Stock Rover updates a linked portfolio with position data from your brokerage, the tickers are verified to make sure that they can be priced. If a position cannot be priced, then the ticker is classified as an asset. Assets help you distinguish between tickers that are included in Stock Rover's research and analytics and those that aren't. An asset will typically be classified as a mutual fund, a stock, a bond, or an option, but there are also many other classifications such as real estate or commodities. If your portfolio contains assets, they will be listed in the table under Assets. When we click on Assets, we get more detail. Here we see a Fidelity 529 College Savings Plan, which is not traded on any exchanges. If we go to the Portfolio Manager, either via Modify This Portfolio or right-clicking and selecting Modify Portfolio, we'll see that the assets are listed at the end of the alphabetical list of positions. For help on creating a linked portfolio via Brokerage Connect, under your username, select Help. Scroll down and select Brokerage Connect. Here you'll find well-documented Brokerage Connect help organized by topic. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer, as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.